guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Justice League issue 23. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. First update is I have two exclusive reviews for Comic Uno episode 11, which is the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And the exclusive comics are FF issue 11, um, and Green Team issue 4. So if you want to go check out reviews for that, go to Dark Avenger Rank um, and check out Comic Uno episode 11. I will also be sharing my pull list for next week. Um, you know, it's a very different type of pull list because of Villains Month. So I thought I would share what I was getting. So check out the beginning uh, part of episode 11 of Comic Uno. See what I'm getting. And tell me what you guys are getting for next week. Because again, everyone's pull list is going to be a little different with Villains Month and a lot of different Marvel stuff coming out next week also. So uh, tell me what you guys are getting. But let's talk Talk about Just League Issue 23. Also, just want to mention one thing actually. Uh, I also have a 3,000 subscriber contest going on, and um, if you guys want to vote for a TV show or comic book and or comic book, um, you guys could pick one issue and or and or one episode of a TV show. I'll put it in a raffle, and uh, maybe one of the shows you picked or one of the comic books you picked will be the winner, and I'll be able to review that for my 3,000 subscribers. So definitely go vote. I really want to get as many votes as possible. So definitely go. Go see that video and vote for what you want. Uh, but let's talk about Justice League um, issue 23. Um, it seems like a little bit of a bigger issue, but maybe it's just me. It does feel a little do double-sized here. Um, but yeah, this is the last part to the Trinity War until Forever Evil and whole Villains Month. And this starts Villains Month. Um, we'll see exactly why it starts Villains Month, why the Just League are dead. Um, and this is the last part that we've really been waiting for. Um, so far, Trinity War has been a really solid, uh, solid uh, story arc. Um, and I haven't been loving, loving it, but I think they're doing everything right. And uh, again, it's been so solid. And uh, everything has been bulking up to this issue. So will it amaze me and make this event work? It. Let's see. Um, let's talk about the cover first. Um, I just want to mention that I do not like these faces here. Look at Superman. The art's not that great for the cover. I love the glossiness, but the art's not that great for this cover, um, which is a little bit disappointing. It looked a little weird here, especially Superman. Superman just looks really weird. Uh, well, let's talk about um, the story here. So in this issue, we get to see still pretty half, pretty much half this issue. We get to see them fighting over Pandora's box. And then we learn about the Outsider's, um, I guess, motive. Um, we find out exactly why she, why he wants Pandora's box, and we find out who he is. Everyone's pretty much right. Here's some spoilers, I know, so if you guys don't want any spoilers, um, please come to this video later. Um, but who is the Outsider? It's Alfred from um, Earth 3. So a lot of people are like, ah, oh, it's not Alfred, but then there's a lot of people saying, oh, it has to be Alfred, and it was Alfred. So, uh... I guess if you guessed right, you guessed right. Honestly, I don't know much about um, the crime syndicate, so I really didn't even guess. I was like, all right, let's see what's going on here. I don't know who's going to be. But if you guys know a lot about the crime syndicate, I'm sure you guys were guessing. Um, also, we have two um, moles on the team. We find out exactly who those moles are. Um, I am going to spoil it, but later on in the review. So, um, you know, I, I guess I'll just spoil it now. But, um, again, if you guys don't want spoilers, um, just either pause the video or, you know, check the video out later. But uh, these are big spoilers I do want to talk about for this big event. Um, so, the two moles on this team are Adam. Yeah, she she's a double mole. I guess a double agent. Uh, because she was a mole to the Justice League, but she's actually a mole to both of them. So she's a double agent for the crime syndicate, because she's actually from Earth 3, which makes total sense. Um, we have the Adam of the real universe, who I guess, actually, I don't know if he actually exists here in um, the New 52, but we have a female version who, I, you know, obviously is kind of reversed, which is the crime syndicate thing. Um, so we have Adam, which kind of makes sense. She belongs into the crime syndicate. Um, so yeah. Adam was the the mole, but there was another mole that didn't know they were a mole, so they're going into like young uh, young justice territory. And now Cyborg, um, his armor was the mole, not Cyborg himself, but his armor was, not Victor, his armor. So I guess Cyborg was, but Victor wasn't. So his armor actually goes off him, so Victor is pretty much dead, and uh, I don't know if he is gonna die. It seems like he is, so I don't know if he will though, because it is Victor. Um, but yeah, his his armor totally comes off him, and he is the the villain of or the mole of the Justice League. Um, 
And then we get to see that Pandora's box actually is not supposed to do anything about sin, but open up the other, um, the other Earth 3, the other dimension. Aquaman comes out, but it seems like he gets hit, so he dies. So Aquaman is not going to be part of the crime syndicate and part of Forever Evil. But everyone else is, and we get to see the whole crime syndicate come out. And this is how villains are going to take over. And I'm sure we're going to see a little bit more of this and how it explains Villains, villains Month a little bit more as Villains Month starts to continue and Forever Evil continues. So I do recommend probably reading Forever Evil first to see how the whole Villains Month happens. If you're going to, you know, go in order. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't really explain how the Justice League dies here, so it kind of just ends. It, it definitely is a continuation for Forever Evil, but uh, a lot of things we already knew here. So there wasn't a lot of surprises, and we already knew the Crime Syndicate was coming. Um, but I was really surprised about the Adam and Cyborg thing. I thought that was surprising. Um, it was a good issue. It was a very good blockbuster extreme issue, but it seems like more of a prelude to Forever Evil, which is going to be the bigger event. And maybe that's why Jeff Johns uh, spoiled it a little, um, because I think Forever Evil is going to be the bigger event to change things. And because um, we didn't really find out that the Justice League died here, um, which is kind of upsetting. I really wish that we were going to find that out here. That was how it was marketed, but it really seems that the next um, story arc and the next event is going to do that. Um, but it's still a very solid issue. I liked it. Pandora's box. I liked how Pandora was so shocked that um, she's like, but I've been chasing all these sins. I thought I had to do with this, and it didn't. So um, it had to do with a whole completely different thing. It really twists the table. And now you can understand why the outsider said they have no idea what they're fighting about. And in this issue, you find out they really had no idea what they were fighting about. Uh, they're fighting over Pandora's box where they thought it was just like all sins popping out. But really, it was just opening the villains, which I guess is kind of like sins popping out. But it was a whole different situation they really couldn't have guessed. Um, so I really liked how they um, foreshadowed that, and it really worked here in this issue. Um, also, kind of a big tidbit here is that we find out why Superman was sick. It had nothing to do with Pandora's box. Uh, it was Adam. It was Adam who did it. Um, I won't tell you exactly what happened because I don't want to spoil this whole issue. But, um, yeah, it was Adam who did it, and uh, that was crazy. Uh, but, yeah, it was a, it was a solid issue. I, I, I was maybe a little bit more excited for this issue than what it gave me because it kind of just stops, and you kind of want more, and you know um, answers will be told in Forever Evil, but it stops, and you, you pretty much knew everything that happened in this issue if you've been following stuff. So, honestly, it really wasn't spoiled at all. Uh, I mean, did you know who the outside? was probably a lot of people have been talking about who it was um, so a lot of it been spoiled already which is kind of shame I think this issue would have been a lot bigger if we didn't know what was gonna happen next um, so I still liked it though I thought it was a very solid issue I give it four stars really enjoyed this one and uh, it really got, it gets me excited for forever evil um, and which I think is gonna be the bigger event I really think Trinity War really was just a prelude to this bigger event um, and I really hope we understand why the villains all the villains are gonna be taken over and how the Justice are gonna die. Um, hopefully you find that out. But um still like the issue. Hope you guys enjoyed this is Comic Gunno. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Gunno and the Rand situations. And guys, don't forget to like me on Facebook. See you guys later. Bye.